Hello. So, sorry I'm late. I wasn't late. I started on time. But when I um, turn my phone to the landscape version, it's all stretched out. So, I know my phone recently had an update, so I'm going to have to go in and look at the settings and see what changed. Every time there's an update, something happens. I have no idea what happened. It's an update. So, that's a bummer. I don't like it when it's like this because then it's got the black bars and I always um, I always share my um, video to Facebook or sorry to um, YouTube sorry I'm trying to bring it up on my iPad hi seal and so then it has the black bars when it's turned this direction. So I don't like it like that. So I'll have to get that fixed. Plus there's just a much smaller um, view for you guys as well when it's turned portrait instead of landscape. But it's no fun having it all stretched out where you can't even recognize what's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this and get started. And... This might be wonky for a second because my mount wasn't turned for it to be in this direction either. So I'm going to have to adjust this. Oh boy. Okay, I will try to keep an eye on that and make sure that I have everything in view. So I have the um, mini catalog up here. Just as a reminder, this starts on January 3rd. So if there's anything out of that holiday catalog that you might still be wanting, make sure that you um, don't miss out on that, that you order as soon as possible. Hi, Jane. Um, but this, this catalog has got so much good stuff in it, and it's quite a thick little catalog, and it lasts clear until June. And then along with this will be Celebration, too, where you earn things at the $50 and $100 levels. Um, so for every $50, you'll get to pick something for free out of that Celebration. And... If you do place an order with me this month, this is the code for December. And you'll find that on my landing page as well, so you don't have to worry about writing it down. But make sure you enter that if your order is under $150 um, at checkout. There's a place to put it that says hostess code. If your order was $150 or more don't enter this because then you would get all the hostess gifts and you would want that free stuff because I would want that free stuff if I was you okay so look at this cute set it's called special someone hi Karen and um, again I apologize for my phone being in the portrait um, I had no idea that when it did an update, it messed something up. So I'm going to have to go figure out in the settings because when I turn it landscape, it's all stretched out really wide. Um, so I'm trying to pay attention here and make sure that I've got this in your view. But look at these cute little critters. And I love that they are a two-step um, stamp so that you don't have to really color. I think that's awesome. Even the flowers are, the balloons, and it's got some fun greetings with it there. So I'm going to be using this, and then out of this little piggy, I'm going to use the little cloud. And look what Ken got me for Christmas. One of my gifts, he got me a Stamparatus, and he actually got me extra plates too, so I've got two more plates. He got me the the paper tablet. 
and it came with a foam mat but he didn't know you know what what to get and so he got me another there's another foam mat as well so um it's got the grid here but to keep it nice and clean you can get the the grid papers and when you're using the foam mat um the foam mat you use with the clear um photopolymer stamps and then um when you're using a rubber set like this, you take the foam mat away. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, yeah, I was thrilled with it. He wanted to order me something out of my, off my store page, and I said, well, I'd really like to have a Stamparatus. So that's how that came about. Okay, let me... Pull out the cute little raccoon. It's got these big bar magnets too. I like that. My Misty just has the little round ones. <clears throat> okay. So first we're going to do the solid part. So I'm just going to put that on there where I want it and flip this down and pick it up. And they always kind of stick right at first just because it's the nature of the game, I guess. I'm going to use some Smoky Slate ink. Hope you guys all had a very nice Christmas or whatever holiday that you celebrate. Ooh, so cute. I mean, it's just that part, but it's still cute. Okay. I don't think I need both plates actually, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. What's cool about a Stamparatus if you've never used one or had one? is the way that these go in, you can move it down. So if you're wanting to do like a border or something like that, you just keep, you don't move your paper. All you do is keep moving this down and stamping to get what you want. Plus you can put your stamps on both sides and flip them around and it's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, now, let me take that guy off of there. And I will do my best to line up um, the top part. Thank you for asking, Karen. Yes, it was nice. Our son and his family came over and we wanted to do something different for our meal because, you know, we had just done Thanksgiving, it seemed like. I mean, I don't know if time passes like that for you guys, but it felt like we had just absolutely done that meal. And so we wanted something different. So we did I made this humongous pot of clam chowder, which was completely ridiculous and way too much. Um, we did shrimp dip stuff, the, the stuff that is cream cheese, and then you put the shrimp on it and the cocktail sauce and eat it with crackers and stuff. And we had these little mini crab cake things. Oh, and by making clam chowder, I bought the base from um, Chowder Bowl here because I love their clam chowder. And they sell the base, so all you have to do is add the milk. Um, so that was super simple. And actually, I added too much milk, but it still came out fine. And, um, yeah, we did kind of seafood, and I did a veggie tray and stuff, and so it was different, but it was good. 
there was way too much food and way too many treats. So let me see if I got this lined up. He's so cute. Well, I'm not completely happy with that. I'm not completely happy with it. But I think it'll do. It'll be all right. The first time I did it, I did a much better one. I could get another scrap and just try it one more time. Here's my, um, here they are. I, I keep all my little parts and pieces in this bag and this is what Todd can get into. Uh, my little dog, my little chihuahua. Um, he gets into if there's any long strips sticking out of it. Little stinker. Pulls them out one at a time and then he'll go do his paper crafting, paper crafting with it. Okay, let me try this one more time and if it doesn't go, we'll just go which, with whichever one was the best. It's hard with this um, phone in front of me to get right over the top and see what I'm doing to line it up perfectly. But we'll give it another shot. Today is our was our youngest son's birthday. He would have been 40 today, and we lost him when he was 29 to leukemia. And so it's kind of a rough day. And his favorite cake was strawberry, so I still make his birthday cake, so I can smell that because I baked it a little while ago and it's in there cooling. And usually I um, will send it to work with my husband, but it dawned on me last night that I hadn't gotten his cake made. And that upset me, so I had to um, go to the store today and get the cake mix. Unfortunately, Safeway here had both the cake mix and the frosting. Sometimes I can find the strawberry cake mix and then they don't have the strawberry frosting. Okay, I'm trying. Um, but they had both of them, so... I didn't get it in time to send it to work with my husband, but we'll eat a little bit of it and probably I'll keep it in the fridge and then he can take some to work with him. Okay. Oh, much better. Yay! Okay, I'm happy with that one. I mean, this one is still cute. I could still use it, but you can tell that one's much better. He's so cute! Oh, I love critter stamps. Okay. All right, so that's done. Now I just want to get the balloon stamped here that I'm gonna use. Get most of the stamping done and then we can move ahead. And the balloon, there's a regular balloon and there is a heart balloon, but I'm just gonna use the regular balloon. And I want to put it like, oops. I want to put it like that and you can tell that I've already 
stamped that with some red because when, once you stamp with red, it kind of leaves your stamps that color, doesn't it? So I'm going to um, stamp this part, the, the color, the solid part of the balloon with real red. There we go. So pretty. Of course, it's my favorite color. And then there's an outline here. And rather than do black, I didn't want to do black because do you ever see balloons floating with black outlines? I don't. So we're going to do Cherry Cobbler. And hopefully I'm getting that on there okay. Can't tell. really hard when you can't just get right over. Let me stand up for a second and see if that helps. I'm going to go with that, you guys, and we'll see. Okay, let me get my cherry cobbler here, which, by the way, is a gorgeous color. It's just this really nice darker red I love the cherry cobbler cardstock too. Well, I love pretty much most all of the reds. Any red. I'm not real pleased. Not real pleased. By doing it backwards. Sorry for doing it twice, but hey, if you're going to do it, try to do the best job you can, right? a little better. We'll go with that one. And let me get the string. I love this balloon string because it's got the little curly curly thingies up there. Let's see. I kind of want it Oh, I think that's fine. Oops, I have it backwards. And I'm going to do the balloon string with, let me close these reds up here so I don't go sticking my fingers in them. Do the balloon string with um, Pacific Point just for fun. There we go. Too cute. Okay.
So there's the ones we are using. And just need to give them a quick um, cut out. Um, there aren't any dies for this set, but really it's not too hard to um, cut these out because I'm not going to get in there and just cut around every single little hair or piece of fur. But this guy's going to be floating in the air, so I want to cut away that area there that makes it, you know, that grounds him because we don't want him to be grounded. We want him to be floating. Floating with his balloon. So it's really okay for him to have a little bit of white showing around him because up against the background of this card, it's not going to stick out too much. But he is just the cutest little raccoon. We have raccoons around here where we live which we have to keep an eye on because of our dogs. But we had a mama and her two babies out in the trees this year, this summer. And I'm hoping that they have moved along. We have lots of squirrels and blue jays and crows and we also have chipmunks which we never used to have until just the last couple of years um, we didn't really have chipmunks we also did not have doves around here so much until the last few years but towards the end of summer I don't know if the crows ran them off or what but I quit hearing them cooing out there and so they seem to have left. But we did have a little hummingbird out here. I believe it was on Christmas Day. We've got some kind of a purpley ground cover type bush out there. And it was feeding on that. I saw we have a little fountain by our door. We have a patio door that goes into our breezeway that I can see out of the kitchen window here. And um, one day I was there at the sink and a little hummingbird came up and was getting a drink out of that fountain. It was so cute. We have a big fuchsia bush and um, our backyard area that that's what they feed on all summer back there is that bush but you would think with as cold and wet as it gets here in the winter time that they would go somewhere else so it always surprises me when I still see them okay you guys I'm almost done with this balloon and the fussy cutting and then we will get on to the card. What's your guys' stamping agenda looking like? What Now that Christmas is over and all that, what are you going to be working on? I want to do some stuff in my art journal. And I want to do some little mini books. I like making that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to set them up here so I don't lose them like I usually do. Hi, Donna. I'm kind of slow, so you haven't missed out on too much. Okay, so let me bring in my 
paper trimmer here. I We're going to have a top fold card. So this is um, 11 inches by four and a quarter. And then we'll score it at five and a half. And again, I apologize for this vertical view. My my um, camera went all wonky on my phone when I tried to do landscape, and it had everything all stretched out. And I stopped it and restarted it, and it still was that way. So, okay, so I am going to score this at five and a half and then I'm also going to score it let me see though because if there's one side that's a little bit longer okay so I'm going to score it at two and three quarters so there we go because I'm going to make this into an easel card So this uh, red is the Cherry Cobbler, and I want to give that a little bit of a help there. And then I have um, another piece of Cherry Cobbler that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have this um, piece of patterned paper, which is from the neutrals DSP designer series paper collection and um, I love the ginghams and there's just I love the the ones with the writing um, these come in all the different color collections and they're in the annual catalog so I have a piece of that cut at four by five and a quarter And then I have, why do I have these two? Oh, because this one's the front. I have a piece for the inside. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so this is going to be the front here, and I bought some of these makeup brushes off of Amazon, these things. I didn't pay a whole lot for them. Um, And I'm not very handy with them, I don't think. You can definitely use your finger daubers or um, a piece of sponge, but I just kind of wanted to play with them. Actually, before I do that part, I want to stamp the little cloud from this little piggy. And I'm just going to put it on a block here. And I'm going to stamp it in the balmy blue. Just doing a little random cloud stamping. That's good. I actually tried to cut myself a stencil out of window plastic and I just couldn't get one that looked right. 
So I gave up on that and decided to go with this cute little cloud stamp instead. And then I'm just going to add in some of this blue. I don't really want it in the clouds, so I'm trying to avoid the clouds. And it definitely doesn't need to be perfect. Have any of you played with these things? I just think I haven't done it enough. I'm not the biggest fan of them just yet. I kind of like those old-fashioned round ones, you know, that we started using back when that have the little handles that you put the little these things. I kind of like those too. These I'm not, not the best with. Practice makes perfect though, I guess. Okay, so there is that part. I am going to take my Wink of Stella. Um, I we probably have a cloud stencil, Donna. I'm not positive, and I haven't even taken the time to go in and look. Hey, Rebecca. But if we do, I'm for sure going to be ordering it because I thought I had one, and I don't like to double up on things when I already have them necessarily. So, um... I went looking for it and I don't have one. I have like a cityscape and I have some other ones that I cut to do like waves with and stuff. Um, and I really thought I had a cloud, but I didn't. I have a couple of different cloud embossing folders and one of those is a Stampin' Up! one that um, is, is retired. And I thought about using that and going that route, but it wasn't really what I had in mind. So I just decided to do this, and this is a fun little cloud, so. Um, but yeah, I'm going to check it out in the catalog, and if we have a cloud stencil, that will be on my next order. So you probably can't see the sparkle, but I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Wink of Stella, but it's got that nice sparkle there on it. And then I'm going to bring back in this just for a second so I can get the greeting stamped on there. And I'm going to use the um, this balloon is special. I want it to go right about there. I'm going to go ahead and ink that up in black. Oh, 
right, I'm happy with that. Now then, the fun part. Bring in our cute little raccoon. I love him. Oh, good. Thanks, Rebecca. Yep, that's going to be on my next order then because I definitely need a cloud stencil. I'm going to put three little dimensionals on the back of him there. right there he's so cute okay and then he's gonna be holding that balloon and I'm gonna so I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of the balloon here and let's see I'm gonna manipulate this a little bit to, to make it be where I want it so I'm going to put the balloon there, and then I'm going to bring in a little bit of the Tombow glue here and put right on the tail end of the balloon string so I can put it in his little paws, which I'm going to do just like that. And I'm going to hold it there because I want it to stick right there. And then you can see it'll be loose, which makes it kind of fun and dimensional on the card. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's probably enough time. Too cute. Okay, I'm going to be adding some sequins on there. But while that's drying, we'll go ahead and get this put onto our piece of designer series paper. And I picked that color because it matches with the penguin, so I think this is the smoky slate. And that's what it looks like on the back. So let me... When I was doing my practice card, somehow when I got to this point right here, I laid this down on my glue mat and I must have been using ink on there and I got ink on the front of my card which I did manage to cover up pretty good with the sequins but I was not a very happy camper when that happened. It's like you go through all that time doing your stamping and getting it just how you want it to then mess it up. I'm sure I am not the only one that has done that. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to mat it onto that piece. And I'm going to get the adhesive on this, but I think before I attach it to that other piece of cherry cobbler. Let me get everything out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuck to the front of the card. So I'm just going to put the adhesive on this bottom half. So again, this piece is a top fold card and then you score it halfway, which is two and three quarters. So I'll put it on the bottom there of that I love cards that have some sort of a fun fold to them they're just fun okay now let's get this hopefully stuck right where it's supposed to go and I 
I've got ink on my fingernails, so let me get that off so I don't get that on anything. And now we can put this guy right on here. Love it. Hi, Kathy. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in sequins from my stash. And scatter them about here and there. Now, when I did my practice card, <clears throat> I had to put them strategically over the places that I had gotten ink on the front of my card. And not necessarily probably where I would have put them, but It's okay. It turned out all right. Lacey is snoring in here. I don't know if you can hear her. I don't think she's loud enough that it's probably picking up that you guys can hear her. But <laughs> she is... And the cat, Miss Kitty, she is at the vet's um, she's been having some issues, so they are doing some tests on her today. So hoping that all comes out well there. All right, let's see here. I think maybe. Maybe I will put one, I just kind of like the idea of one going there. Let's see, how many do I have? Four, five, six. I need one more. Where do I want it? Where do I want it? I think I'll put it right there. All right. So cute. Okay, now what's next? Okay, we need to have the stopper here. And so for that, so it says this balloon is special. And then I went ahead and um, cut these out using the stitched rectangles. And it, so inside, what's going to pop up for it to land on here is it's filled with helium. So this makes a super cute little get well card. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this part straight down to the cherry cobbler piece. I love stitched dies. They're just cute. Cute, cute. Okay, and then on the back there, we'll put a couple of... Thanks, you guys. We'll put a couple of... Oh, here it is. 
dimensionals. In fact, I'm going to put three just because I don't want it to go sinking in the middle because that's a little bit long. I'm going to put it right about here and then it leaves room up top for you to put to sign the card and put a special message to who you're sending it to and then when they get it they can open it up and it will stand up just like that I think it's so cute what do you guys think? Do you like the idea of him floating with the balloon? All you have to do is just cut away the ground below him. So cute. I love the little critters on here. There's so many things you can do with them. And look at the cute little butterflies. I could have put a little butterfly up there. That would be cute too. So here's the first one I did. And yeah, my sequins are kind of funny. But they work. But it's like I said, because I was covering up. And of course it was black ink. And there's still one little one little swipe of it there and I thought you know what I don't think anybody's gonna look that close at it it's still giveable I think yep I like it that's a fun card fun fun okay so that's it there you have it and thinking tomorrow I might you guys I think I'm gonna make some gnomes hi Rosie I was watching a YouTube video of this gal making gnomes with socks and they are so stinking adorable so pretty much you can get most of your supplies like at the dollar store but I want some of that fun fur stuff for the beards so I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and see if they have some. I looked on online, but online they're all out of it. So I don't know if they'll have any in the store. But it seemed like Hobby Lobby had the best price on that because that fun fur anymore can be kind of spendy. Um, but yeah, I want to make some gnomes. And not just gnomes for Christmas. Gnomes for, you know, any time of the year. Valentine's Day would be some cute gnomes, I'm thinking. But anyway, yeah. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great weekend and a very happy new year. I'm looking forward to the new year, I must say. And um, yeah, so be safe. Enjoy the holiday. And I will see you again next week for another Friday fun day. Happy stamping. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.